Um, I'm over here uh, walking through uh, my buddies at Romec and a lot of you guys wanted to talk about different heads so I um, I'm at the best place I got heads at the house and we'll look at some of those too but let's just run through some of these heads this is the Dennis Seamoff head uh, which is a really good head uh, chipper style with the um, depth control so you have these uh, you have these these uh, uh, blades here that actually control the depth so you don't grab too much at one time and bog your machine down um, and then the way these work is they cut and then they have a, a relief that actually rolls the material you get really good material um, with this this style head uh, so Dennis Seamoff it's definitely one of the top of the lines heads and, and that's just kind of an up close kind of look at one of them this is going to be a bigger one this head is over here is over seven feet but let's just kind of jump around we're going to look at um so just just so you guys know just some different heads okay this is what this is and where uh this is a this head here is a sippy head you guys can look those guys up um they make good good stuff too uh, i know they've come a long way uh, and you can see there they, they have a spiral design double carbide on this particular one uh, obviously these uh, guys are into um, uh, balancing heads so that's why you're gonna see good selection here they do everything I mean you got motors and everything but um, so this is Alwi over here Alwi is uh, it's a really really good head um, they have an awesome design uh, you know with their their shovel style I really like these shovel style they're light uh, they're very hardy, uh, easy access to get to, and they have a unique tread depth design here with their blading. So you're going to get a really good, nice head uh, with these heads here. Also, you can every one of these heads I'm uh, showing you, you can get in skid steer. These are bigger industrial heads that you're, I'm showing you, but all, all of them uh, are outfitted for skid steers as well. Um, so Aoi is had a lot of relations and um, designing qualities that uh, are similar to Fecon. Most of these guys have some way or another they've done business together, done designing together. I don't want to get into all the legal stuff and who owns who and who designed what. That's not what my purpose is um, and I don't sell heads or anything so I'm not interested in uh, turning you guys one way or the other uh, just simply showing you what some of these brands have to offer uh, what they look like um, you know of course we got big machines out here you guys can see all these big machines but um, this uh, this head a lot of guys have asked about this head too and they are this is the ro probably the best rotary head on the market um and uh they're very very aggressive head very fast cutting um but as with all rotary heads definitely um they throw stuff this one has underneath uh carbide teeth which is going to be to grab stuff on the ground um which has always been a very big problem with rotary heads uh they can't do that but this head can but be careful of throwing stuff um but that head uh probably the closest and best head you're gonna find to uh, rotary style that can do close to what a drum can but it still is no drum if you guys want the benefits of a drum buy a drum if you want the benefits of a rotary buy a rotary so this is a rotary gone drum <laughs> kind of so it is trying to, to do the um, uh, quality of the drum in a rotary style it's a very heavy-duty head uh, and it's a very good built head but it is still not a drum so you know uh, but if, if you if, if if you want a, the best uh, rotary on the market you could probably grab one I know the diamond new diamond design is really good too and we've had we have the Dave Co at the house at the shop and we've had several Brad Co uh, heads as well and um, 
the Bradco rotary, we broke two shafts in, very dangerous situation. So we don't own any more of those. But uh, so here obviously you guys seen Fecon and you'll notice that it's their design here on these is very similar to the Owie we just looked at. But this has a paddle. You see how, see the paddle back here? This is actually um, which is gonna turn stuff up to make you get a more of a mulch, pulling mulch up and repaddling stuff. Um, but that is gonna lug the machine down. So be prepared if you have a small machine and you have that uh, paddle-like start pattern, um, you could really bog it down. Um, so all these have their place. Uh, we're over here at the Dennis Seamoff again. Dennis Seamoff, uh, uh, you know, great design. Um, you know, they all these guys, they're, they're stronger in one area, weaker into the other. So you can see these are a little bit thinner here and, and bigger here. So, but that's, uh, that's your Dennis Seamoff. Uh, with uh, this is how, if you if you go with a gyro track head, they're the same, pretty much the same as the Seamoth, but uh, they have the spiral pattern. This one has the pattern of a base, basically they V into the center. So there, and then here's just your Cat 299D um, that they have changed over to the uh, um, very similar to the. Um, the Samurai, which is with the double, the double-sided uh, paddles, these have reliefs on them, which I like the smooth better. So you can see on mine, I have the smooth, and these have the relief cuts. Um, so just a little bit different there. This is a smaller drum here, which will allow the skid steer to pick up speed faster um, and paddle debris a little bit more in here, uh, but the bigger one like on some of ours is going to keep the rpms faster and be able to hit trees and use that uh use that way a little bit to kind of to muscle through some of the stuff um so but and this is i'm pretty sure where, who makes this i think this is fecon or bradco makes this head um here i'm gonna say i don't know it, it, i'm gonna say bradco but I could be wrong. Don't kill me, guys, on any of this stuff because I'm just trying to help out. So, there's my wife laughing at me. Hi. <laughs> Man, I wish I had all these machines. This is like, this is like my playground right here. If they had a place where you could just like go ride and drive machines all day, I would like do that instead of going to a theme park. We got the gyro track over here. Got your uh, Hydro X 420 Spark Hose. I got some fun stuff. Hope I'm not making you guys like, walking like this. But I want to go show you this Raptor 300. Probably like the baddest machine on the market. Yeah, y'all can guess. Why don't y'all guess and tell me how much you think this machine weighs <laughs> and how much it costs. And uh, whoever wins, uh, uh, maybe I'll send you guys one of our t-shirts and some koozies and stuff But and Mind my very dirty Jeep. It's been raining for two weeks down here But there she is look at that beauty look at That stump grinder here too my dad would love to have that. He's been stump grinding for many years. But look at that, guys. Wow. Look at those freaking tracks. Man, that undercarriage is sexy. That's some serious stuff right there. Beautiful machine. Absolutely top of the line machine. And from what I hear, for the power and weight, this machine has the lowest ground pressure of almost any machine out there. Go stand next to it, babe, so you can show how big it is. Yeah. So, and this is um, 
tread, you know, their, their depth control here. It's a little bit thicker than the Sea Moth. Um, and the little shovel I, I really like. These, the way these things are, you, you're making such a pristine cut. Um, this, the, I mean, this thing is gonna cut full blown trees and it's just gonna do it like, you know, so precise. Um, you, you're gonna be able to, to, you know, almost carve with this dang thing if it wasn't so big, but you're, you're gonna have so, find a product it's you know it's just gonna be a little bit bigger than chainsaw chippings with that look at that I mean I know it's a little exaggerated but heck that's crazy right there you're gonna have confetti with uh, with with something that's that small and that tight but it's that big so it's gonna it's, it's all gonna it, it's gonna end up with a probably the best product you'll you'll find with a big machine which is is the best of both worlds. So, it's a planer head. Thing is what, 12 foot wide there? But, okay, well let me get over to the shop, guys, and I'll show you my insignificant heads to these. <laughs> but, no, it, it always looks, it looks like that. No matter what you have, you know, if you get, um, if, if you walk around something like this, you're gonna feel like you just don't have enough, you know? But that's whenever you walk around next to a machine that's known to be the trendsetter and the best in the business right now. But this is uh, Raptor 300. Um, so, so you guys guess how much it weighs, guess how much it costs. You don't win it, but you know, Oh, I guess you guys are gonna Google it, huh? huh. <laughs> well, it has to be this, this one. There's a Coke can in this one, so you might get your weight wrong. All right, cool. Extreme underbrushing yard here. Um, I went over to uh, Romec and, uh, and went over their yard because we never have everything here. Um, it's so hard to um, do a video um, and do comparisons on heads because we just never have everything here. Um, we have majority of our stuff out, but um, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of the stuff we do have sitting here because we do have a couple little different things. Um, this is the Loftness Timber Axe. Um, we have, uh, this head has the chipper style knives on it. You can see under here. Um, this loftness uh, goes backwards. Um, it has a backwards rotation on the drum and has chipper knives. So it's going to be the the most uh, um, different of most of the heads. It's it's a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm I'm still not a big fan of loftness. Um, I haven't had real, real good luck with them. Although this head is a good built head, it's a strong head, um, and it has a, you know, a concept that they have here, and this concept does work uh, the way it chips up. Uh, it does chip up really fine. You can watch the videos of how they do it. Uh, I, I would consider loftness in this stuff uh, entry level, um, like what you would see with the Kubota. Um, stuff and I, I had actually Kubota engineers over here yesterday from China talking to me about you know their stuff and what they were doing and what what we did and how uh, how the things we like with skid steers and dislike and so they're th that was pretty neat that they actually felt the need to come over here and talk to us and they spent about three hours over here yesterday um, but uh, they they you know and they do kind of tend to stick with the loftness. Um, but I would say like, I mean, you know what guys, don't beat me up on this stuff. If you have a different opinion, everybody's going to be a cheerleader of what they have. I get that. Um, I'm just trying to be honest with you, you know, um, if you, the loftness is what I would consider kind of entry level. I do still consider Kubota entry level, but I do think they're coming a long way. I do think they're trying. I do think that they have a good machine. Um, but uh, you kind of have to step up to Cat or Bobcat um, and the Terex to get your real 
your real good operating, you know, top of the line machines, you know. But I, I'm not giving take anything away that they're 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 trying, and they're they're doing some new stuff. Okay, this head here, this is um, this head has a lot of hours, guys. I've used this head. I love this little head. Um, this head probably right now is probably somewhere around 4,000 hours on it. These teeth are wore out. We need to change them. But these are the uh, Samurai double-sided. You can flip them. I showed you another uh, head earlier um, on uh, that 299D that had a smaller drum and it had a grooved uh, relief style uh, cutters on it. Um, so that's a little bit different style, but you see how this is a bigger, uh, this is a bigger drum. So this drum is going to pick up more velocity. It's going to be uh, a little bit more rotating mass. So it's going to be uh, harder for you to slow this one down once it gets going. So once you get your RPMs all the way up, you know, your 2,500 RPM range, um, with a skid steer then this one is going to really buzz through logs and stuff another kind of secret to this head is okay you know this is a this is one of the um bobcats uh 74 inch i guess is what it is and you see this is a smaller smaller head on both sides well i always hear people they call me all the time they say hey well how big of a head do you have your co competitor has a bigger head um, they said that their head is 80 inches and they have this many teeth and I, I, I asked them I said well what are you getting at you know I always ask them what are you getting at what do you what do you what do you want or what are you trying to achieve well I want to get more bang for my buck a bigger head you know if I'm paying daily or hourly well that's not the case um, you know that, that's not the case you're not going to get a um, you're, you're not going to get uh, oh sorry guys you're not going to get a faster or more productive head because of the size of it. Um, and, you know, if you want to cut logs and you want to mul do tree mulching and stuff, um, the smaller head has always been our little secret with that because this head it cuts very, very fast. Um, and it explodes stuff. Uh, it's really good for uh, mulching up trees. Um, and I can take and mulch up a pine tree that's 24 inches uh, if you give me enough time with this particular head so when other guys you know they get the biggest head they can and they you know tell their customers that this is the this is what you need um it's gonna be able to get bigger stuff well that's not right uh, you, you, the bigger head does not get the bigger stuff um if that was the case then you wouldn't have these small heads on excavators um you know they 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 use the smaller head a lot of times just because they can build up a lot of velocity very quick and they can keep it uh, and that's how you are able to uh, cut logs and cut trees. You need a smaller head and and be able to keep that RPMs up on that head. So this head over here, like this timber axe, which is really wide, you know, this is an 80 inch head right here. Uh, if I bring you this 80 inch head versus this, uh, this is a, this is a bullhead 58. So this is a small one. This head right here, this Fecon head, this small little four foot, what is this four foot? I don't know if it's, four, um, well, four and a half feet cut, whatever it is. It is going to run circles around this loftness. I mean, absolutely run circles around it. Uh, we were on a job last week, actually, where I had both bobcats out there, um, and it was a two-acre job. And the uh, on on that job in, in the day's time, uh, this little head here did an acre and a quarter to the loftness's three quarters. And you're talking about a head that is, you know, two foot smaller. So. When people say it's you need the bigger, big, bigger head, no, that's not true. But where you do benefit with that bigger head is protection of your tracks. So, and that's a really good, that's a really good thing uh, to have. Is you see, like with this head here, you you don't protect your tracks. So over time, you'll definitely will damage your track and the rest of the machine. All of these things have their their different um, you know benefits to them. So. A bigger, 
a, a bigger uh, head will be more um, beneficial to you for protecting your um, machine, but a smaller head is going to be good for you to do your tree mulching or just all around be faster. Um, but you will take some damage on your tracks. So, but just kind of rule of thumb, guys, because it's some reason everybody's backwards in the industry right now. I get it calls at least once a week where somebody says, well, this other guy it says he has an 80-inch head, and, and if you don't have that, then he's going to be able to outperform you. And it's just, you know, that's not the case. I always tell everybody, look, I got whichever one you want. If, you know, we got an 80, I got a 74, I got a 76, we got a 58. I mean, we have seven heads. So uh, we, we, we have something for everybody. But um, this is the uh, excavator here. It's out digging a pond right now. So we got this little brown. This thing is pretty cool. Um, some people have asked me about this head too, you know. I, I can't tell you that this is the best head. It works good for us and our, our machine, but um, there is a couple other heads out there that are really good too. And, uh, you know, a little bit smaller. This head is not a, not one of the smaller excavator heads. Uh, it is a mini excavator head, but it's not the smallest mini excavator head. It is better, in my personal opinion, than the Fecon head we had before. We used the Fecon head and it uh, burned out bearings very, very fast, and we had to spend money on it, and they didn't want to uh, back us up on that. And they also didn't want to back us, Fecon didn't want to back us up on one of the pumps on the bullhead. It was absolutely um, a manufacturer problem, 100%, and they would not back me up on that. And um, after all the years and money I've spent with them guys, you can see that we are starting to get other heads now. And that is the reason. That's the reason why we just got that uh, um, Dennis Cliff head. We got the Timber Axe. So we're, we're sampling right now. Um, we're trying to see what we have. And so far are the Seamoth. I'm, I'm bad with names and stuff guys, so don't, so don't uh, get mad at me. But um, so I do like that Seamoth head. Um, if that's the way you pronounce it, uh, it, it, it seems to be top quality. And that the Alwa head that we, all those heads we look at for, man, those things are so stout. Uh, those things are really stout, and you can get those for the skid steers. So um, it looks like, uh, from what those guys were telling me, that Alwa head and Seamoth head are, uh, are, are top. Um, and then, then, then you got the Fecon, and then you had, they had some pretty cool uh sippy stuff out there uh i do have you know this is everybody's junkyard that works here so just kind of we got hot rods and stuff you see parts and exhaust and we like to play just like everybody else but um so this is uh one of our last remaining rotary heads here uh although it's been sitting here um it's nothing wrong with it it works perfect you can get in it um and use it uh honestly I mean, we have drums, so we don't use it a whole bunch. I last time I used it was the Moa Field, um, and uh, yeah, that I mean, that, honestly, that it works, you know, and it and it and it, it's heavy duty. Uh, it's got a um, uh, 700 pound flywheel, and it has the sling blades. It's just like the Bradco, but it doesn't have the stump grinder little. Uh, knives on the bottom the stump grinder knives uh, or tools are to be able to chew stumps and bring stuff up so you can mulch mul it a little bit finer uh, it, it works okay um, but we uh, we broke the uh, uh, this has a shaft okay that shaft holds that um, oh that big fly that 700 pound flywheel underneath there with the Bradco we broke both of those um, that broke the bearing the Timken bearing case and broke that and that 700 pound flywheel flopped out almost in our lap lap both occasions falling very close you know to where our legs are in the machines uh, basically even hitting the bobcat in one instance and scarring it pretty good uh, so Bradco Bradco bought, uh, took the took theirs back from us, um, and and we didn't pay. Uh, you know they they recovered them, and uh, it was a it was basically a handshake and walk down walk you know walk down the road because uh, we we did not want to endanger our 
guys anymore with that and say, hey, yeah, I, I, I don't want somebody losing a leg over these dang heads. So we, uh, you know, we, we just walked away with it. Um, with that being said, I showed you guys a really good one earlier. Um, and then that diamond, I have looked at that diamond uh, at um, John Deere because they gave me a free hat and wanted me to check out their stuff. And I love their hats and these guys here. Um, but hey, you know, if you get a free hat of the deal, why don't you come listen, right? So I, I listened to, to them and I uh, talked to them about that diamond, walked around it, and it is a really good looking head, man. It's really strong. So I would just, I haven't used it, but I would say that, it, you know, just from the spill, it probably is really close to the one I showed you earlier. Um, and I would probably say it's num one of the number ones on the market. So, uh, but that's kind of a rundown, guys. Okay, so we got paddle style. Obviously, paddle, the big paddle ones like I showed you earlier, will slow your machine down. Make sure you have a strong machine if you want to run it. It will bog it down, but it will remulch and it will paddle stuff up uh, that, and pull stuff off the ground for you to mulch it. Um, your smaller heads are going to provide you more velocity so you can mulch bigger stuff, trees, stuff like that. Uh, your bigger... Uh, heads are going to benefit you because they will guard your machine and uh, help you from tearing up your soft parts um, The depth control versus like this head right here depth control will allow you to just get a little bit of bites at a time um, So that you don't slow your velocity down and you're allowed to and it allows you to keep going through wood and brush without bogging um, non like this is called a smooth drum. The smooth drums are going to be very, very aggressive. They're going to blow stuff up and you're going to be able to cut very aggressively. Um, and with the chipper style uh, samurai or any cutter knife, um, you're going to be able to cut fast, have a, a decent product, not quite as fine as you would if you had tread uh, depth. Um, and this bigger smooth drum is going to allow you to pick up velocity, keep velocity, um, and the smaller one will allow you to rev up faster, but you will lose velocity quicker. So you can see all of these guys have their own uh, style. There's not just one head. You know, there are many different tools to many different types of brush to many different types of properties. So finding the right head, you know, to buy for just one to do all, that's tough. That's why we have multiple because not just one property is the same not one type of uh material is the same so all around good head obviously fecon will will do you good um you know when we've we've gotten where we are today with fecon so um you're, you're you're good with that but there's you know there's others out there too um we didn't walk through the bradco uh other heads because obviously i had a little trouble with bradco so we didn't i didn't want to walk through and talk to him you about too much of their stuff um but there's uh there's 10 different other heads out there too you guys know some of them but these are, this is just a quick rundown of a little bit of what was out there uh a little bit of what i have and i missed a lot of stuff but you know we're, we're going to keep videos coming to you guys i need to get you guys to check out our new equipment that we do have too um and and that but uh so i uh I got some shirts. Let me know what your guess is on the price of the machine that I showed you, the Raptor 300, and the weight. The closest with both of those. I'll get you guys some koozies out. I'll get you guys some shirts, maybe a hoodie. Um, and the shirts are our patented "Run Your Mulcher, Not Your Mouth" shirts with the uh, extreme no phone number, so you can, you know, work them on your jobs too. It's just apparel. But okay, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in again. Hit that like button, ignore the dislike button, and subscribe, and I'll bring you some more.